What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here today on this Tuesday, July the 25th, 2023, for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction coming to you from the MOD fucking crypt. Thank you, Janelle, for this awesome set. We're working on some new designs for another set that she's going to be making me over the course of the rest of this year. It'll be like a summer type thing, probably a graveyard, something like that. It'll be pretty fucking cool. Anyway, as always, bringing you the best in metal-related content on one of the best channels on the fucking platform. I just did a collaboration with Mordant Red. We talked about Marduk, 33 Years of Blood and Iron. Click that eye right there in the upper right corner of the screen. The video is there as well as everything else. I'd really appreciate it. Remember, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. You know when I post a new fucking video here on one of the best channels. Giving you only the real underground elite fucking metal as always. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel again, and I know it's been a while since I've done one of these recorded videos. Anyway, doesn't matter. Today we're going deep into the underground, into Brazil, where one of the most extreme metal subgenres was pioneered along with, of course, different regions but like bands like Sarcophago, Mystifier, and Early Sepultura, etc. And this is another member request that comes from my girlfriend, Janelle. Today's review is of Sodomy with their self-titled, which was just released uh, two months ago this year, 2023, in digital format, independently. A physical release is on the way, and I cannot wait to get myself a copy. Now, Sodomy, hailing from Rio Grande, Brazil, play a really crazy style of speed black metal slash punk that is pure fucking Bathory worship, okay, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever because this is first wave black metal all over again And the way these guys do it is fucking incredible So for the lineup we have Kraycor who's a female on vocals Celtic on bass and lyrics and Kadu Necro Sodomy Guitars drums and lyrics. All right, let's get into the review first up. We've got a really creepy evil sounding uh, fucking intro piece before it breaks into under the symbols of Satan. And dude, this shit is fucking killer. We got some straight up raw old school savagery combined with that style of guitar work that screams with pure bathory worship. Vocals here are very dark and hateful. The emotion that's coming off this track is unmistakable and off the fucking rails. This is a chick vocalist, so I mean that adds a lot to the atmosphere uh of this track as well very wretched vocals drumming is raw primal and bombastic as hell this is a great fucking opening track next up is from the dust this is another killer first wave attack of some really sick primal black slash speed metal with some punk in there that really combines the best of all three worlds here emotionally you can certainly tell that they wanted to create that feeling of old and it really shows on this track primal bestial riffing comes through here uh, with a really dark, sinister vocal style and a really powerful atmosphere that emits from your speakers as this track carries on for its duration. Drumming is perfect and fucking raw sounding, which gives it the beast from within treatment, and I fucking love this first wave shit. This is a killer track. Next up, we have Necronomicon Ex Mortis. This one has some slower elements that kind of resemble doom metal uh, in some aspects, but it also makes the speed and aggression that much more impactful as the track vomits forth its evil ungodly abomination and wretched crawling demonic force from the speakers as the track pulls you into its layer of pure abysmal darkness and hatred vocals here are once again are wretched and snarled with frog-like croaks and shrieks of disgust and despair uh, the guitar riffing is emanating some pretty killer sound very sinister stuff here picks up in its frantic aggression and heaviness the blast beats come on like a whirlwind of fucking destruction and battering chaos. This is some killer shit as well. Next, we've got Evil is Eternal, and holy shit, this really fucking reminds me of Bathory Worship, but I mean, that can be said about the whole record. Especially on this track, it's fast, brutal sonic speeds of evil intensity and reckless intent. The track sets the course for some pretty strong resemblance to punk meets black metal as well, and this is a great love letter to the old school punk bands of the 80s as well. A lot of this album actually has punk elements mixed in with black metal. This track is blisteringly heavy and dark, sinister shit, as the ice cold riffing hits every fucking bone in your body with the demonic snarls and shrieks of a possessed maniac on the verge of psychosis. Pretty sick shit, man. Let's check out some sodomy here on MOD. Enjoy.
And we're back. Yeah, man. Killer fucking track. Great shit. Next, we come to Bath of the Fire, which is the longest piece on the album, clocking in at almost five minutes long. This one is a bit more of a slower track here with a great throwback to the days of Motorhead's approach uh, to speed metal, kind of with a proto-thrash metal affair in the track here. But the evil rawness and black metal shines through on this one especially in the vocals on the raw production with a harken to the punk as well here this is a great sinister slower track that has some incredible guitar work in my opinion that combines with some pretty simple drumming but of course this works well to deliver some pretty potent atmosphere killer track next up we've got seven thrones and man this is some killer shit okay you've got some very dark aggression coming through the drums and guitar work vocals are evil as fuck and the emotions here are conjured well with the hate and evil being at the forefront mass in it it's being mustered with a very sincere and true feeling and a lot of validity coming through just like they were intending some pretty sick stuff this just goes to show you that the underground is alive and well there's a lot of speed and dark aggression here but a lot of that punk swing is mixed in for good measure with this black metal that's very present here alongside a dark cold fucking production killer stuff next up we've got zod the immortal which i'm guessing is a berserk reference great band by the way Anyways, there's a clean guitar intro that's really melancholic behind some pretty wretched snarling vocals with some wind in the background and then boom, it explodes into a blasting non-stop brutality for the entire duration. They got some amazing guitar work here. Really, really fucking killer stuff with the guitar work. Old school blasting drums that just screams Bathory worship once again and it works because the vocals here really lend to the music's overall impact and force that the track exerts over the listener. Killer stuff. Next, we've got Massacre, and I'm guessing this is a homage to Bathory's Massacre because they're very similar, okay? This is another amazing, fast, brutal, dark black metal slash punk attack of savage, raw, primal aggression, sinister, dark riffs with that old-school beast of a drum attack that slays pretty much everything in its goddamn wig. The vocals, very evil-sounding. Uh, you'd swear this is like 1984 all over again with Bathory's first album because this is amazing and very dark and terrifying and a true worship album beyond anything I've heard in a long time killer track. Closing out the album is Speed Panzer, which is an outro. Uh, it's just under two minutes and there's some really sinister demonic growling on here. Some crazy windstorm in the background happening. Very uh, like obscure spoken tongue demonic stuff happening here. Very evil and unsettling. Great way to close the record. The final verdict for Sodomy self-titled from the final verdict for the self-titled album from Sodomy is getting a 9 out of 10. Hail the fucking underground. All right, there you have it. Another fucking album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, smash the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Turn it on so you know when I post a new video. Merchandise going up. Janelle doing some really cool stuff with AI. Art generation. The merch is looking killer. She sent me some designs. If you want to become a channel member, you get awesome perks like you just saw right here tonight. Join the channel, $249 for your first month, $499 thereafter. Become an MLD Elite. Exclusive content, review requests, bad interviews and promotions, etc., etc. Live streams, all that cool shit. Have an awesome night. We'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesdays. Hails.